Can you sit down too? Yeah, I could join sit us? right next to you. Oh, wow. Is that turned on? Yeah, it's turned on as we're running. Okay. <clears throat> I'd like to begin with a moment of silence. Where there is love, there is peace. Where there is peace, there is harmony. Where there is harmony, there is growth. Where there is growth, there is joy, joy, joy. These are the words of H. H. Lurie. He was a Chinese Tai Chi Master. Today we're going to do an introduction of what is essential for life. Otto Warburg, back in the 1930s, did research in which he discovered, among other things, that oxygen was essential. And we know oxygen, we need it to breathe, but he found that it was also very essential in our health, because he researched for which he won the Nobel Prize in 1935, was discovering that oxygen can not only help us grow, but in the absence of oxygen, cancer and diseases will grow. And we have forgotten what we could have learned from this Nobel laureate, and we have forgotten much of what we Native people have learned. The First Nation in Canada, the Manuku in Brazil. And here we are in Jamaica, where the Tianos lived off the land. And now we are trying to live out of the grocery store and we can no longer enjoy total health. And if we can begin to go back to learn, moringa is growing right in the yard. A superfood. We forgot it. I can't reach it. It's a problem. I, I reached it this morning <laughs> on my tippy toes. <laughs> it was brought to Jamaica in 1817. That's 195 years ago, the superfood was brought to here, and people forgot about it. And the coconut, which sustains life, you cannot sustain your life on Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola, anything in a bottle cannot sustain you. The people of Tiano, Indians here, lived what, what was here in the grocery stores? They had the coconut, the coconut water, the jelly. The life force was in the coconut. And we need water. And where did they get the water? It wasn't coming out the faucet. There are no faucets. There are no pipes. Uh, Joy last evening was telling us when she grew up, they were carrying water on their heads. And we have the sea all around us. We have coconuts around us. But there's a coconut. Is that a coconut palm? Uh, I think it's cabbage. That's cabbage. In the front yard, we have a, a, a coconut palm. They call it patch. And, uh, <laughs> but, oh, we don't know how to get up the tree. We don't know how to cut them. We don't know how to open them. Uh, and people have gone to islands, to retreats, and have never had a coconut because they did not know how to harvest the coconut, how to open the coconut, how to serve the coconut, how to split the coconut. Machetes, yes, they learned to do it before that. They, how did they open it before they had the machete? Uh, we, it's, we have 
the oxygen, the air, here we can do our breathing exercises. We can get the coconut water, which has, believe it or not, electrolytes in it. It is very similar to blood plasma. And in the 1940s, it was used for blood transfusions, where they hung the coconut on an IV drip 